We will now add the results that we wish to look at. We can add these results by right clicking on solution or we can use this toolbar. We'll add a total deformation von Mises equivalent stress a force reaction which is located on the probe and a moment reaction. So these are fine, nothing to change here. So again the question marks indicates that some things needs to be defined. For both these reactions we need to specify the boundary condition to be the remote displacement that we had created. And again, that was really just our support that we created at the remote point. And it makes sense. Okay, now click uh, Solve. We're first going to look at the total deformation and move our way down. Well, it looks like our blade is deflecting as we predicted, given the pressure load. Actual wind turbines do deform this way, away from the incoming wind, so that's good. One very important thing to look at when viewing results in mechanical is this results box right here. It's currently displaying true scale, so this is the actual deformation that one would see if it was a real blade. Sometimes uh, when the deflection is small, it's going to be set to uh, one of these magnification settings. We can show the undeformed wireframe if we click here. So this can give you an idea of the deflection. We can also smooth out the contours. And we can even uh, animate this model. So yeah, overall this deflection looks reasonable. Moving on to equivalent stress. Looks like the maximum is located right here and is about 32 megapascals. And this uh, stress is tensile and it makes sense because it's bending this way. These particular regions of high stress might be due to some of the weaknesses of this CAD, a better model might show higher stresses in different regions. Again, it's very dependent on the model that you're using. Um, let's look at the force reaction now. So if we look here, almost all of the force reaction is in the X direction. And this should make sense to you considering the centripetal acceleration acting on this blade. So moving on to the moment reaction. It looks like the majority of the reaction bending moment is about the y-axis. And considering the load on this blade and how it's deforming, this is again what we would expect. Okay, let's finish by saving our project.